Welcome back to another day of World Cup predictions here on Fubeka's Marble Runs. Hey everybody, I'm Jeremiah. We have our marble racetrack set out yet again for four more duels to take place. As we take a look at the track, lots of different features and a lot of funnels, which are the star of the show for these marbles to race in. Comment down below which teams you think will win in today's matches over at the World Cup. The eight countries competing in today's matches will be Cameroon versus Serbia, Korea versus Ghana, Brazil versus Switzerland, and Portugal versus Uruguay. So it'll definitely be some exciting matches, and we will predict which ones will be the winner of each match. Here are all the groups and countries competing in this year's World Cup, and today we'll be finishing off Group G and Group H. And let's start it off with Cameroon versus Serbia. Cameroon in the green, Serbia in the red. Here we go. And they go into the half pipes for the first time. It will be Cameroon who will enter the center half pipe. That's actually a slower route compared to the other two routes. And But they actually get out quick. And they're the first one into the white funnel. But here comes Serbia close behind. And they overtake through that white funnel into the first tan funnel. But here comes Cameroon as well. And now they're neck and neck in this tan funnel. A yeah, contact there, and now Cameroon thought was going to overtake there, but Serbia is just able to hold on. Cameroon so close behind, and there's the overtake into the third tan funnel, but there's a hard hit from Serbia, and they're right back in the lead. Neck and neck, and they keep overtaking back and forth through these funnels up into the staircase, and Serbia is two stairs ahead of Cameroon. Into the final four orange funnels. They're both in the same funnel, but Serbia is closer to the hole. And they are able to get out quick before Cameroon can do anything drastic. And here comes Cameroon as well, though. But Serbia is already down to the second to last funnel. And they're going quick. They're in the final funnel. And they finish with a bang. Cameroon not even close. An amazing finish by Serbia. They were in that funnel for no less than three seconds. That was an amazing performance by Serbia. And definitely will be an inspiration for a lot of teams to come. So that will be our prediction for the first match of the day here at the World Cup. Next up we have Ghana versus South Korea. Comment down below which team will win in this match. And they're off. South Korea in the clear type marble and Ghana with the green into the half pipes they go. And South Korea, the first one, exit that section of the track into the white funnel. And here comes Ghana as well. But South Korea is already out of the white funnel. And if they can get out of this tan funnel before Ghana gets there, that'll be a great help to them. But they aren't able to. Ghana, a hard hit there. Now they're neck and neck in this tan funnel. And Ghana is able to overtake for the lead. But South Korea, uh, very close behind as we go into the second funnel. Ghana still in the lead. South Korea, pretty much neck and neck. And they overtake for the lead there. But now they have some uh, lead on Ghana. Can they exit first? They do there. Barely missing out on uh, Ghana, who is trying to hit them in that last hand funnel. But they weren't able to do it as we go into the staircase. Almost the whole staircase behind South Korea. Ghana has a lot of catching up to do. Let's see if they can do anything in this first orange funnel. And there goes South Korea into the second orange funnel. Can Ghana make a comeback? And put a contact on South Korea. There goes South Korea out of the second funnel just as Ghana gets there. Ghana missed out their chance in that funnel. Now they only have two more funnels to go. And there goes South Korea yet again. There's one more funnel. Ghana is running out of time to win this match. And they aren't able to do it. Less than a second apart. And it will be South Korea who will be the victor of this match. And Ghana will be the loser. That is our prediction for the second match of the day here at the World Cup. Now it's time for match three. Switzerland versus Brazil. Switzerland in the white, Brazil in the yellow. Here we go. And they both go on the same side. Unusual for this track. And Switzerland is able to get out to lead, but not by much. Here comes Brazil as well as they circle in this white funnel. Into the tan funnel they go. They're neck and neck. Who will come out on top and be the leader? 
through the second funnel. It is Brazil. Let's see if Switzerland can make a contact in the second funnel. They do right there. Now let's see if they can overtake into the third funnel. And there goes Switzerland into the third funnel. Brazil now has to catch up a little bit here. And these four funnels, the lead usually is swapped back and forth multiple times. Because when you get the lead, the marble behind you has the advantage because they can contact from behind and speed you up in that funnel like as we saw right there. It is Switzerland one step ahead of Brazil. And let's see who will come out on top in these final orange funnels. There goes Brazil and they think they have made a contact there and they have it overtaken for the lead into the second orange funnel. I think they're going to exit before Switzerland can even get there. Yes, they do. Now they're in the third funnel. Only one and a half funnels to go. Switzerland is running out of time. Brazil in the final funnel. Switzerland not able to make it. And Brazil will be the winner of the third match of the day. And Switzerland will not. That is our prediction for the third match of the day here at the World Cup. Did you comment correctly? Well, I hope so. Brazil definitely celebrating after that victory. But now it is time for the final match of the day here at the World Cup on Fubeka's Marble Rounds. Our final match will be Portugal versus Uruguay. Portugal in the green, Uruguay in the blue. Who will come out on top? And they're off. It is Portugal in the lead. And they both go on the left side like we saw in the last match. And they're both in this center lane. Very close together. And will be Portugal who has the slight lead. But Uruguay is not one to mess around with as we go into this tan funnel. They're still neck and neck. Can Uruguay overtake for the lead? No, they don't in that first funnel. But here they come and to the second funnel. They're still neck and neck, and Uruguay overtakes the lead through the second funnel. Let's we'll see if Portugal can catch up. No, they don't there. Uruguay is actually able to get to the final funnel before Portugal can even do anything about it. And they're going into the staircase now. Portugal still in this tan funnel. Uruguay is gaining a massive lead over Portugal. Into the first orange funnel they go. Portugal only halfway up the staircase. into the first orange funnel. Uruguay trying to dodge Portugal, but they are able to. Portugal is able to overtake for the lead to the second funnel, and there's some crazy contacts there, and I think Uruguay is going to be able to take it back. Yes, they do, but Portugal is close behind, but Uruguay is able to get there, but thus so is Portugal. It'll be a race to the line. Portugal will take it at the last second. An insanely close finish, but it was Portugal will be the winner of the final match of the day here at the World Cup and Uruguay will be the loser. That is our prediction for the final match of the World Cup for this day. Portugal will be the winner of the last match. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below who you think will win the World Cup 2022 here in Qatar. And stay tuned for more matches here on Fubeka's Marble Runs. I'm Jeremiah, signing off. Until next time, this has been Fubeka's Marble Runs. Good day, everyone.